Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. AX4 is go for launch. That is great news for Mission Control and from our crew on board Dragon. With that, we are just at T minus 30 seconds, 30 seconds to lift off of AX4. Let's go, AX4. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. For three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, AX4. T plus 30 seconds into flight with the Axiom 4 crew on board Dragon headed to the International Space Station. Waiting to hear call-outs from the Falcon 9 engineering team. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage 1 throttle. We're throttling down the nine Merlin engines. We're into the throttle bucket, preparing for max Q. Max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. We should begin throttling the Merlin engines back up now. Stage one throttle up. Mission control confirming. Stage one Bravo. That throttle up and we Copy are one Bravo. hearing our commander Peggy Whitson call out the first abort mode. Um, each of these are a specific phase where if for any reason we had an in-flight abort, uh, Dragon would, would abort to a safe location. So we're going to call out each of those milestones as we pass through them. We also just heard the call out for MVAC chill. We're going to trickle just a little bit of liquid oxygen now into the turbo pumps on board our Merlin vacuum engine on stage two in preparation for second engine start one, which will of course be shortly after stage separation. Now at this point, we are just about 30 seconds away from four events that are going to happen in rapid succession. The first one will be main engine cutoff, or MECO, then again followed by stage separation, ignition of that second stage engine, which we are already stage preparing for, um, as well as the first stage's boost back burn. With that confirmation from Mission Control that we are throttling the first stage engines down, we are expecting MECO at T plus two minutes and 26 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back startup and back ignition. There we had confirmation of all four of those events. Incredible views on our screen here too as that boost back as that first stage boosts its way back to Earth. Stage two alpha. And confirmation Copy from our two alpha. commander that we have entered the two alpha abort mode. Of course, we're getting lots of cheers from behind us here at Mission Control here in Hawthorne, California as well. And at this point, our AX4 crew is on their way to space. The view you have on your screen right now is our MVAC engine burning for that second engine first burn. Um, we're expecting that SECO here, uh, second engine cutoff, uh, which will likely be called out over the nets as SECO in just a couple of minutes. Stage one boost back shut down. Confirmation that the boost back burn on our first stage booster is now complete and the booster is heading back toward the Florida coast to attempt a landing at LZ-1. Congratulations, India. We've got our second Indian in space, officially now, which shooks in space. The separation, the first stage separation is complete. With that picture-perfect takeoff, we can confirm for you that the AX4 space mission, that the crew Dragon capsule is in space now. And so after four decades, that's the first image there for you of Group Captain Shubansha Shukla seated along with his crewmates, 
right now headed to the International Space Station. What a moment it is for all of us. He very, very rightly said that he is carrying with him the hopes and prayers of a billion Indians. And all of us, I particularly can say that we feel almost like, you know, our dreams are coming alive, courtesy Group Captain Shukla there in space, representing every single one of us. After four decades, we're seeing this moment of an Indian going to space. Group Captain Shubanshu Shukla is now headed to the International Space Station. It's a tough journey for him, but he is powered, fueled by the energy, by the dreams of every single Indian who's watching this broadcast, wishing him well, prayed for that safe launch, they prayed for the safe blast off, and that's exactly what's happened. Everything right now going as per books, uh, you know, textbook launch that we've seen, essentially the first stage separation is complete. Uh, you can see the live images from inside the Dragon capsule where the astronauts all look confident, calm, which is great to see. The protocol that they've been asked to follow is what they're going by step by step, essentially. But after four decades, we now, viewers, have an Indian national once again in space. And Group Captain Shukla is setting the way forward for future generations. And how? Not just an inspiration, I'm sure, for every youngster in India watching this broadcast saying, hey, look, I can do this too. I can be an astronaut. I can go to space. I can make my country proud. But course, also opening up so many doors and crew. opportunities Great. with this one Don't mission, being a part so Do bravely of this mission on. and seated yeah, there as the pilot of the AX4 mission. Now, right now, in, aboard the Dragon capsule now for the next 28 hours. So extremely challenging for him that he will be strapped on there for the next 28 hours as they head to the International Space Station. Let's play out for you that moment of takeoff. If you weren't glued to your TV screens at 12.01 p.m., here's that moment. Sending that four astronauts to the International Space Station. Blast off from launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space years. Center in Titusville of Florida. And just look at that image, a ball of fire going up and up into the skies. We're continuing to get a live stream, by the way, to show you what the Dragon capsule looks like. It's completely dark right now all around. So there's not much to see except a big, beautiful light in the sky. But don't switch off just yet. I've been saying this repeatedly to our viewers that what you're going to see next is another beautiful moment in science.